The other day I was looking at the Toronto Star, they had this great front page headline. They did this major investigation of a local limo company that was ripping off high school graduates, promising them these big, ornate limos. Uh, and then graduation would come and they'd send over a school bus and these kids were completely disappointed. And it was such a small story. And yet it got huge feedback. And I remember looking and said, that's exactly the kind of story that in the next 10 and 20 years, media are going to have to cover. Because you can't get that story from the New York Times. Uh, you can only really get it from a local media source. And it's the sort of story that actually arouses passions in a community. Because globalization, the internet, all this stuff, it doesn't change the fact that people live somewhere. They have a house or an apartment in some community. And they're affected by community stories, like high school seniors getting ripped off by local limo companies. Stories about the weather, stories about healthcare, stories about potholes. You know, stories about bad roads get huge hits on local media sites. People are very passionate about the state of their roads. You know, I mean, this is, it's like a 19th century story, people paving roads. People still care about that stuff. So there's always going to be a media space for people delivering local content.